this dashcam footage was recorded in Mexico, where a man and his wife had just entered the country in the early hours of January 3, 2020. Only a few minutes after crossing the border, they encountered a roadblock with several people standing nearby. As the driver approached, a car in the middle lane moved forward and the men outside signaled for them to pass through. However, as the driver tried to do so, a pickup truck suddenly appeared and blocked the way, and the people outside started banging on the windows and trying to open the doors. Cartel. The group in the video tries to stop the vehicle by setting up a roadblock, but the driver manages to evade them by quickly maneuvering around the blocking cars and speeding away in the opposite direction. Such groups are known to set up traps like these in various locations, primarily to steal passing trucks for multiple purposes. They also steal valuable items such as wallets, cell phones, and other possessions from unsuspecting drivers. There were several reports of stolen items, including credit cards, filed on that day. Hurricane Ida, a devastating Category 4 hurricane, hit Louisiana in 2021. It was the second most powerful hurricane to ever hit the state and wreaked havoc as it moved northwards into the U.S. Multiple tornadoes were created in its path. The dash cam footage of a semi-truck captured one such tornado in Horsham, Pennsylvania. The truck came to a stop at a red light, but the driver decided to remain still, even after the light turned green. As the winds picked up and visibility worsened, power lines on the side of the road gave away. The truck continues to be forcefully pushed around by strong winds of the tornado. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. for southeastern Pennsylvania. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia. At 3.15 p.m. Wednesday, the stage was 6.4 feet. Moderate flooding is forecast. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening to a crest of 14.8 feet tomorrow morning. Several driveways and other minor roadways are affected. Water begins to enter some basements. Impact at 10.0 feet. High water isolates seven houses, resulting in some evacuation. The strong winds were able to push the truck over and cause the dash cam to fall out of place, revealing the driver still in his seat. A man driving a van in front of the truck quickly turned around to help the driver, assisting him out of the truck. The two men then ran for cover in a nearby building. The truck driver only sustained minor injuries. This dashcam footage was captured from a police vehicle on February 18, 2022 in Shawna, Wisconsin. A officer was patrolling the highway when suddenly this happened. The dashcam captures a pileup of cars caused by the icy road conditions. Despite the officer's attempt, the icy conditions didn't allow him to slow down, he crashes, and cars behind him begins to slam into his police vehicle. Now the officer was trapped inside his vehicle. After a while, some other people who were involved in the crash went to check on him. A little sore, but okay? I'm a little sore, but I gotta try and get a hold of my supervisor at least. Oh. Kind of trapped right now. How's your legs and everything? They're all right. I'm kind of trapped right here. Okay, yeah. I don't. Okay, so I'm with Sean O'Pedi. I don't. I gotta try and I'll try and get out of here and do what I can to help you guys. 
I'm sorry, man. I'm trapped right no, now. That's okay. That's okay. Hold on. Let me let me try and get out of my driver's door first. Can you? Can you? Uh, nope. Nope. We got it open. You got it open. It took the officer six minutes to free himself from his trapped vehicle. He then assisted other stranded drivers. The pileup involved a total of 39 vehicles and caused 10 people being injured. This dashcam footage from a truck captured the moment of an ambush by multiple individuals who used tree branches to create an improvised roadblock on the highway. The group, comprised of illegal immigrants, was angered by the recent demolition of their makeshift camp. The attackers climbed the guardrail and threw rocks, sticks, and even chunks of concrete at the truck driver. Fortunately, the driver managed to escape past the roadblock. However, the driver suffered multiple injuries from items thrown through the windshield, requiring medical attention. He reported feeling fearful for his life during the incident. Several calls were made to the police by a neighborhood in New Jersey, alerting them of a strong gas smell in the air. The police, firefighters, and utility workers responded and began to search for the source of the gas leak. During this time, 75 houses in the neighborhood were evacuated. Then, after some time, an explosion occurred, which was captured on the dash cam of one of the police cruisers. The explosion caused debris to scatter throughout the neighborhood in all directions. The house was completely blown from its base by the explosion, although it was empty at the time due to ongoing renovations. However, 15 individuals were injured, with most being utility workers and firefighters. A few of them required airlifts to nearby emergency rooms, as their injuries were severe. While it is believed that a 2-inch gas main breakage caused the explosion, the reason for the breakage and the cause of the ignition remains unclear. This video was captured in broad daylight. A semi-truck can be seen sitting idly on the side of the road. After a few seconds, a silver car pulled up in front of it, and a man got out. Walking up to the truck and finding no one inside, he went around to the unlocked door and rummaged through the driver's belongings. He then took a black bag and ran back to his car. It's most likely the truck driver was changing a tire or inspecting his back trailer at the time, but upon realizing what had happened, he can be seen chasing after the man. After the man got in the car and began driving off, he suddenly stopped the car for some reason and threw the bag on the ground. The truck driver was able to get back his bag before the car quickly sped away again. Unfortunately, the license plate was not fully visible in the video, so the police were unable to identify the car and take any further action. This video was captured by dashcam of a police vehicle. It shows three cops trying to help the drivers of a car that had broken down on the side of the road. But as the video goes on, the officers appear to be reacting to a noise behind them, and that's when they all desperately try to, to avoid a car that is coming right towards them at a very high pace. After narrowly missing the cops, the car would suddenly stop further down the road. 
The man driving the car was a 26-year-old, Cedric Keith Henson Jr. He was found to be intoxicated. Fortunately, no one was hurt. However, parked vehicles would receive severe damage. For this clip, the dash cam footage of a parked car on a mid-October day in 2014 can be seen. From the audio, you can hear that someone is inside the car. A window rolling down can be heard followed by the driver saying something as being creepy, and that's when you realize what he is referring to, as you can see a man wearing a disturbing looking mask walk around the car. The driver claims that, there were five others with the same mask which is not visible from the dash cam. From the audio, it's clear the driver thinks it's a joke, as you can hear the driver laughing, but that's when one of the man with mask break the car's windows and proceeds to steal all the valuables of the driver. Horrifying screams from the driver can be heard. Consumers are facing during the decline in the U.S. economy. The Internal Revenue Service may not be so creepy. <laughs> Where'd you get it? This may result in back taxes being reduced by thousands of dollars. An open phone line. Where did you get them? Come here. Where did you get it? This dashcam footage was captured in January of 2016. The Lincoln County Police would release this footage. Deputy Jeremy Gatney is driving the cruiser, who was conducting a regular patrol in the area at the moment. As he gets closer to an intersection, Jeremy observes an obstruction in the middle of the road, which was moving and coming towards him. An infant child was running through the center of the street to Jeremy's front bumper. Jeremy would pick him up and question where his parents were. After some time, the parents would be located. They were discovered frantically looking for their child. Later that, it was determined that the kid had unknowingly got out of the parents' house through an open door. The parents immediately realized that their kid was missing. This incident was fully investigated based on basis of child neglect. Although, it eventually found to just be an accident. No criminal charges were filed as a result. This dashcam footage was captured in early morning hours of July 27, 2018. Wyoming police received many calls describing a reckless wrong-way driver on a highway. Two officers were on the scene immediately. The cops were forced to use their police vehicle as a temporary barricade to stop the driver on the highway. This all was captured on their dashcam. Take as many lanes as you can. Watch yourself, watch yourself. We are going to set up like this. He's coming right at us right now. All right, we got him coming at us. Too. As the two cops set up, the headlights of driver that is going on wrong side can be clearly seen approaching towards them. Disturbingly, they're showing no indications of slowing down or even change the path of their car to avoid collision. The officer Chris DeBoer's swift response to turn their vehicle was the only things that saved head-on collision and probably a fatal situation. The driver on the wrong side eventually stopped later on the road and was taken to hospital for treatment of injuries. The man was 60 years old. He was charged with his third offense of a driving a vehicle while intoxicated. The police officers would make it out of the incident with only minor injuries. This dashcam footage was captured on November 19, 2017 in Florida. 
a pair of police cars were responding to a traffic stop. Few minutes after they got there, a small plane slowly circling in air can be seen, but it swiftly becomes clear that it is dropping and moving forward direct at them. Right wings of the plane strikes a tree, as the plane descended, it caused the plane to spin out forcing it to the side of the street. Few minutes earlier, the four-seater plane had departed from a close airport. Two were there in the plane, a pilot and a passenger. Few minutes after the flight, their engines started to fail. The pilot would report this back to his airport, and explain them that he didn't think he could make it back. Pilot didn't have any other option as one engine was continuing to become worse. This is what forced him to crash land on a street, there were already cops in this area. Even though the crash was horrific, the two were able to walk away with minimal injuries. This footage was captured in 2012 on a desolate road in Russia. A temporary roadblock made of a tree branch and several bottles was intentionally placed in the center of the road. A car with its warning lights on can be seen stopped right next to it, and the driver is also stopped by the roadblock. A car's headlights can be seen approaching in the background, as the two drivers exit their cars to move the obstruction. Then, two people can be seen on the side of the road that seem to appear out of nowhere. Many people who have watched the video believe, that it is likely a failed ambush attempt and roadblock was intentionally placed, that drivers would have to exit their car in order to remove it, leaving them open to an ambush. One user even said that the ambushes themselves were either in the car driving down the road, or standing by the side of the road. Although it is unknown if this is true or not, it is still disturbing to see. This dashcam video was captured in Downey Boulevard in Los Angeles, California in 2016. However, it's been six years since this happened, an article on the internet reports that road rage incidents are increasing in Los Angeles. They have increased by a shocking 32.7% in the previous year, with 459 reported incidents. You are about to watch a prime example. As the video goes on, a biker can be seen approaching a car. It's unclear what is really going on here, but we can confirm that there is a conflict between biker and the car's driver. The biker starts to leave but turns around and argue his point. The driver finally lowers his window. They both seem to be relatively calm during this. However, after some time, the biker shockingly breaks the car's glass and begins to ride away on his bike. The driver, though, is not going to let him leave that easily. What happened after this, is unknown. While driving home late at night on a desolate street with no lights, a man claims to have seen a person on the side of the road. He begins filming with his camera as he slowly approaches the figure. My car, in reverse. There was somebody walking in that distance. It looks really, really sketchy. It's like right under that sign over there. I, let me try to zoom it in for you guys. See if you guys can see anything. No, I'm gonna have to put the lights over there for the car. I'm trying to get you guys a picture of this, but this thing is scary as I have never seen no one look like this or be like this. See if you guys can see it with the light down there. Oh no, still too far. I'm getting on the road here by it and I don't see nothing still. I'm gonna zoom it out. Where did they go? I don't know where they went. What the f He's standing like under the sign over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's legit like standing under that sign right there. Just like right there on the side of the road.
After turning on his high beams, the driver spots a man on the side of the road wearing a black shirt and dark jeans, who appears to be wearing a mask. The man's peculiar body language catches the driver's attention, but things turn eerie when the man aggressively lunges at the car and attempts to open the door. Do you see that right there? Do you see that? Who the But they got like some weird mask or something on. What the is that? What the Oh, what the Oh, what the The man's identity and reason for being alone on the desolate road in the middle of the night remains a mystery. However, it's unsettling to consider the possible intentions of someone who would aggressively attempt to open a car door. This dash cam video captures the emergency response to a 911 call about a burning truck. The incident occurred on February 11, 2017, in Glen Heights, Texas, during the late hours. According to the report, a truck was on fire in the drive through lane of a jack-in-the-box, posing a danger to the building. Officer Chris Womack arrived at the location as the first responder, and it became apparent that the truck was close to exploding. Acting quickly, he used his patrol car to move the truck away from the restaurant building, preventing a potentially dangerous situation. The swift action taken by the officer prevented any damage to the building. Moreover, there were no reported injuries. This dash cam footage was recorded at around 3 a.m. on October 15, 2005, showing a police officer responding to a reported crash at Hobo Jungle Park. While on his way to the crash site, the officer noticed a dense layer of what appeared to be fog ahead, prompting him to stop. Soon after, the dash cam would capture this. To, uh... I've got some kind of chemical smell. It's slowly drifting further south. The officer manages to get away from an explosion which was actually caused by a train crash in a nearby railroad yard. The collision punctured a tanker carrying propylene, a highly flammable compressed gas. When the officer first arrived at the scene, he saw a fog caused by the gas release, which was not on fire at that point. Later, a gas reached a nearby house and was ignited by the water heater, resulting in a massive explosion caught on dash cam footage. Had Randy entered the gas fog, he and his patrol vehicle would likely have been incinerated. Fortunately, no police officers or rail yard employees were injured, but around 3,000 residents within a one-mile radius were advised to evacuate immediately. This tragic incident revealed significant communication shortcomings between the police, fire department, and rail yard tower workers. Initial observations of a vapor cloud and chemical odor were not passed down to responding dispatches, which could have prevented the explosion. As a result, the city has since modified some of their communication protocols. Richard Lee McNair, born in 1958 in Oklahoma, is known for his multiple prison escapes. Despite receiving two life sentences at the age of 28, McNair managed to escape from law enforcement three times. His first attempt was unsuccessful, lasting only a few minutes, while his second escape lasted nine months before being recaptured. On April 5, 2006, McNair made his third and final escape, which proved to be successful initially. 
However, a police officer noticed him running on the side of the road and stopped him since they were alerted of an escape at the time. Come on. You, you live around here, boy? No. Where do you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form identification on you? No, man. Alright. Oh. Um, what is? We got an escapee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where from? Uh, prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. The uh, entire incident was captured on the dashcam of the police officer, revealing McNair's frantic efforts to fabricate information in order to convince the officer that he was not the escaped prisoner. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. The roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. Um, where are you staying at? That uh, Titusville or Titus Inn? Titus Inn, Little Oak. Little Oak. Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where did he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, an house. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off. Who do y'all work for? It is, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name of the company? Fields Brooklyn. Okay. Did you go through a briar patch or something? Well, yeah, roofing. I always roof in shorts and cut my uh, scratching up on, you know, the roofing. That's why your knees are all cut up. McNair's adeptness at fabricating false information proved to be of immense value in persuading the officer of his innocence in relation to the escape. Nonetheless, McNair makes a couple of mistakes during their conversation when asked for his name, giving two distinct fake names, Robert Jones and Jimmy Jones. What's your name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh huh. What's your name again? Jimmy Jones. Although the officer fails to detect this, he eventually releases McNair, believing him to be just a jogger. When I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escape. I'm sorry to have to hold you up. But... Hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. But, uh, yeah, just... Be careful, you'll probably get stopped again, okay? Don't, don't be alarmed by it. All right. That's hey, our quick line there. Have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. Richard McNair wasn't caught for a year and a half after this encounter. Later, when law enforcement finally found him, he was sent to a very secure prison in Florence, Colorado. After that, he didn't try to escape again. This dashcam footage was captured on December 19, 2017. The Tucson Police Department received a disturbing call claiming that a man appeared to be pretending to be an undercover cop. The caller said that he and his friend had been parked on the side of the street when a man claiming to be an undercover cop stopped his car next to them. He continued by saying that they both had been searched by the man and one of them was put in handcuffs. The police confirmed that the man was not affiliated with them at all. Several cops were dispatched to the scene, but when they arrived, they were informed by the caller that after calling the real police, the impersonator had sped away, even leaving one of the guys in handcuffs. How's it going? You guys live here? You guys live here? What are you guys doing? Several days later, investigators were able to track the impersonator's identity down and he would be arrested right away. With a search warrant, cops were successful to see several things that were used during the incident. These included a white four-door car with built-in red and blue flashing lights, a radio earpiece, a baton, and a dash cam. After investigating the dash cam, cops found that dash cam had been recording the whole thing. Additionally, it demonstrates numerous other times the impersonator has pulled over and spoke with various people.
The man's intentions for doing this are not clear. But the fact that he was even considering it to go so far as putting people in handcuffs doesn't make them look good. He would receive the charges of impersonating a law enforcement officer and kidnapping. This footage is from the dash cam of a California Highway Patrol vehicle. The officers inside were on their way to a reported structure fire when they encountered a large mudslide on the road. Unfortunately, by the time they saw it, there was not enough time for the driver to react. As a result, the patrol vehicle was propelled directly into the mudslide, causing all four wheels to lift off the ground and the vehicle to spin around as it was carried away by the current of the mudslide. Fortunately, the officers were somehow able to regain traction and drive away from the mudslide. At this point, their options were limited, so they focused on warning pedestrians of the imminent danger and observed the unsettling sight of the mudslide sweeping through the city, causing significant damage. Get out of here! Get, get out of here! Get out of here! Go! Go! go, go, go. go. Right through us. What are we supposed to do? I have no idea. Ventura 29201, there is a, a very active mudslide coming down Olive Mill towards the 101 right now. Uh, it overtook our vehicle as we were heading north on Olive Mill. We were able to barely escape and we're down by the freeway now. But it's uh, there's a lot of debris and a lot of flow coming down. It should be on the uh, near the freeway very shortly. Mike, get in the car. Mike, get in the car. Get in the car. Mike, get in the car. 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 Get in the car.